What's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial I am going to show you how to insert, delete and update in ASP.NET using SQL Server database. So without any further more explanation let's do it. Open up Visual Studio, go to file and then click on new and then click on project and then select Visual C Sub under the Visual C Sub select web, select ASP.NET web application and give the name of the project. and then click ok and then select empty and then click ok in asp.net each web pages are called web forms so we need to add web forms so right click over your project and then click on add click on web forms and you can give the name of your web forms or you can leave as it is so click ok now here we are going to design a simple form where uh, we can insert id name address and phone so let's do it inside the div i am going to add one table so table align is equal to center and inside table i am going to add some table row inside table row table data and one more table data now simply copy this table row that includes the table data also and paste two three four times and here goes id and here goes mem and here goes phone and here goes address now over here uh, from the toolbox go to toolbox and double click that text box and change the id of the text box is txt id and similar process for name also double click that text box and the id is txt name and phone number txt phone txt phone and add this also txt add now we need to add some buttons so in order to do so paste that uh, recently get copied table row and here goes one button double click that button and change the id btn insert and the button text is insert and another one over here here goes delete btn delete and one more button table data btn update here goes text update now go to the design view there you can see there is a simple design of so update is apart from here now let me drag over here this update button over here there you go now we need to create the database in sql server so open up uh, sql server management studio right click over database click on new database give the database name and then click ok now expand that database directory and simply refresh it and find the recently created database and expand that database right click over table click on table we need to uh, design table so here goes id in the data type is integer and here goes name bear care phone bear care address pair care simply paste control plus s from your keyboard and give the table name id us click ok now go back to visual studio go to server explorer right click over data connection click on add connection change the data source to sql server and give the server name or you can simply click this drop down icon in order to see your server name and select the database 
and then click OK. Now right click over that recently connected data source and go to property and copy the connection string. Now double click that insert button and we need to add some nemesis over here. So using system dot data using system dot data dot sql clients now inside the clicking event of that button what we need to do is we need to connect this application with the database in order to do so we need to use the sql connection class new sql connection and the connection string goes over here simply paste that connection string that we recently copied now sql command cmd is equal to new sql command now we need to write the insert query inside this sql query class so go back to sql server management studio expand the table that you recently created right click over that table and click on scripted table is insert into new query and then copy that query go back to visual studio and paste that and in order to remove this error you can add, add the red sign over here so that you can write the query in multiple lines now here we need to pass our value single quotes insert to single quotes to double quotes and then to plus sign here goes txt id dot text similar process txt name dot text txt phone dot text txt address dot text now here goes connection now we need to open this connection so connection dot open and then we need to execute this query so cmd dot execute non query and we need to display the message to the user saying that inserted successfully so response dot write data inserted successfully now we need to close the connection so connection dot close Now go to the web forms and double click that delete button. We need to write the delete query. So here simply copy this connection query, sorry, connection class that connects uh, this application with the database. So SQL, sorry, SQL command CMD is equal to new SQL command. Similar process, go back to SQL Server Management Studio, right click, scripted is, delete to, and simply copy this. Control B, here goes, here the resign, sign, here the resign, sign, and here where we need to write the condition where id is equal to similar process single quotes inside to single quotes to double quotes to inside to double quotes to plus sign in here we need to pass the value txt id dot text sorry text and connection simply copy this and paste over here change the message deleted successfully
Now go back to web forms and double click that update button. Now we need to connect this application with the database. So simply copy that connection history with the connection class and paste inside the listing event of this button and SQL command cmd is equal to new SQL command. We need to write the SQL query. So go back to SQL Server Management Studio, right click, scripted is, update to, new query and simply copy this. There you go. Please enter it. Set ID is equal to single quotes, double quotes, plus txt id dot text name is equal to similar process here goes txt sorry i forget here txt name dot text and here goes txt phone dot text and here goes address similar process txt address dot text and the condition is where where id is equal to txt id dot text that's it very simple and then connection and then simply copy this and paste over here and change the message that is updated successfully already that is successfully so simply save it now execute in any browser that you want I am going to execute in Firefox so click that triangle icon there you go now enter the ID one name tsn phone number 01234567789 and address and then click insert message will display inserted successfully now add another data click insert now in order to see whether the data is inserted in database or not so go to sql server management studio right click over that table and then click on edit top 200 rows there you go two data are inserted in our database now we are going to delete one of them so i'm going to delete one so click that delete button deleted successfully go back to SQL Server Management Studio, right click, edit top 200 rows. First of all, let me close this. Edit top 200 rows. There you go. One is deleted. Now I'm going to update this. Two. Now here you need to provide two. And here, let me see the original data name is Ron, only Ron. I'm going to add some surname. So, and then click update. Message to display updated successfully. Now go back, right click, edit top 200 rows. There you go. I inserted this second part and the address. So, there you go. The program is very simple. First of all, in our application, we use these two namespace, which allows us to use some you know, classes like SQL 
connection SQL command SQL connection class connect our application with the database in SQL command uh, class execute the SQL query and we pass our value from over here and we execute our query display message and close the connection similar process in the case of delete and update also so if you have any confusion uh, let me know you can comment in the comment section or you can message us in our facebook page and thank you for watching this video if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel please subscribe this channel because we create so many uh, tutorials on tech and programming and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye